Atlas Fallen, as you guys may have known, because I think I can actually play this. Um, I have been live streaming Atlas Fallen, so you guys have witnessed me play this game pretty much from beginning to end. Um, I have never heard of the Focus Entertainment Company. Um, it was something completely new, and I will honestly say that I absolutely uh, loved it for what it was. Like, it was beautifully, beautifully done. Um, something completely new. Sand surfing. The storyline was a little meh. I will say the storyline is a little meh, but um, the graphics were actually pretty decent, I will say, and then the mechanics is what really uh, made it very tricky for me. Um, so I played, this is how I play the game. Um, I do play a lot of my games on hard mode, so, the, so I can actually feel the struggle and I can actually start stressing. Uh, that's just how I play these games, so I do play it on hard mode. Um, so that's my character. The whole premise of the game is for you to fight an evil god that has taken over the world and you find out that the gauntlet that you wield is a gauntlet from another god. So there used to be two gods, Chaos and Order. Order, took, order surprisingly, is evil. Takes over the entire world, corrupts the entire world, and now you, with the, you have to work with the god of Chaos to restore balance back to the world. Um, so that's pretty much the premise of the game. You are doing a lot of fighting. The mechanics of fighting is actually really hard because the way it works is as you're fighting, you can build up, um, like, how do they describe it? You build it up. I don't know if it's going to show me. Let me see if it'll, it's been a while since I stopped playing. Um, let me see. I do love sand surfing, so that's always a highlight for me. I enjoy sand surfing very, very much. Double jump. Oof, it's been so long. Okay. Okay, the mechanics are coming back to me. Um, let's see, let's see. So as you can see, it's a pretty massive uh, map area that you see, so I do love that. Um, they are giant monsters in the area, so you will catch them running, roaming around. You do have to fight them, or you can run, um, but it's pretty hard to run away from the monsters because they do chase you for quite a distance. Um, they are indicated by levels, and then the stronger they are, the level will change colors from like yellow to red, red being the hardest level that you can fight them. And that's pretty much it. You just have to fight and kill the monsters. Um, so what makes this game hard and interesting at the same time is you have to dodge. <laughs> Learn how to dodge, you gotta learn how to parry, and then you have to defeat the monsters um, by parts. Um, so if you can't beat the monsters by parts, it makes it a lot harder. And then on top of that, they have this thing where it's, um, what do you call it, like, your stat build up. So, um, <laughs> and so, the way that works is the more attack damage you do, the stronger you become, but the easier it is for the monsters to hit you harder also. So if you're not too careful, you can end up dying like I just did uh, when you build up that, that blue bar at the bottom, that stat build up. So the more and more damage you do on these guys, the stronger and stronger your hits become, the stronger and stronger you're going to get for the recoil. So just be very mindful of that. Um, so that's what makes the game mechanics trickier and more entertaining. So you always have to be like, oh, I'm just going to button mash through. Yeah, if you button mash through and you're not paying attention, you're going to be like me and you're going to end up dying. So you got to be really careful. So that's what makes that game, the mechanics for this game, pretty good. Um, the graphics are, you know, they're actually decent, I will say, for a company that I have not known. I'm used to the big name company. So this is the first time playing this game with these guys. Um, I did live stream every aspect of this game because this was something new and I definitely feel like people weren't really given credit to this game for what it is. Um, and the storyline of the, the game is pretty simple. There's side quests and things like that. So that's what makes this game kind of fun is that there's side quests. You get to learn about this world, um, what's going on and things like that. Um, now I will say the map is broken off into segments. So each area that you see is an open world. So it's not like a complete open world you can constantly run through, like you would see Elder, um, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet. It's more like it's an open world for this area, go to another area, then it's an open world for this area, 
go to another area, then it's an open world for that one. So the fluidity, the fluidity of this game when it comes to the specific regions are really good. So I can't deny that. Um, so with that being said, whoa, because I pretty much beat this game and I'm not going to play it through all over again, but I did give you a little bit of the gameplay to see how it is. Um, I'm going to give this game a 3 out of 5, uh, just because the mechanics were actually very fascinating for me. The storyline was really simple, and the graphics were meh. But I did have a really good time playing the game. It was something new and completely different from what I'm used to, so that's what I was really excited about. Um, so that's why I gave that this game, Atlas Fallen, 3 out of 5. So, 